Hi, my name is Ansys and I'm the Global Brand Ambassador for Rooster Rojo 100% Agave Tequila. I know what you're thinking right now. Check out the pore spout the guy has. Yeah, I know. We get a lot of compliments on this. But jokes aside, and let's get down to business and let me welcome you to the world of Rooster Rojo. Rooster Rojo is 100% Agave Tequila made from blue agave plants grown in highland areas of the state of Jalisco in Mexico. The area famous for its rich volcanic red soil. Our distillery Fabrica de Tequilos Finos lies on the very boundaries of Tequila Town, a birthplace to tequila itself and a home to very well-known recognized tequilas out there. On top of traditional tequila making processes, I'd like to highlight a few. The water source, silver filtration, and our master distiller, the real hero Arturo Fuentes. Blanco, also known as plata or silver, is being bottled soon after distillation. It is the truest expression of agave and shows the real distiller's craft. If tasted neat, you can get through flavors of fresh sweet agave notes. There is some lemongrassy elements to your profile. There can be found some salty notes. That comes from volcanic soil, that comes from volcano, which is nearby, volcano tequila. Tequila Blanco is, as I like to say, tequila with no makeup. There's no wood that touched the liquid. It hasn't been kept or matured in any type of barrels. Reposados, Añejos, they're great but you should definitely try 100% agave blancos. And we are about to do it very, very shortly. So how do you prefer your blanco? Is it that you sip it? You take it as a shot with your friends? Maybe you prefer to put it in your favorite tequila cocktail. I don't know. There's many ways you can enjoy Rosterojo Blanco. And along with our range of blanco, reposado and añejo, we also offer our sangrita. Origin of sangrita dates back to 1920s. Some say that authentic sangrita comes from the Lake Chapala region of Jalisco. However, there is no exact list of ingredients that sangrita should contain. The key to a balanced sangrita recipe can be found in the traditional Mexican fruit salad. It can be any or all of the following. It's tangerine, it's cucumber, it's onion, it's tomato, mangoes, papayas, oranges, different types of pepper, some spices, you name it. So, what goes into our sangrita? I'm not gonna keep it a secret. It's quite simple. It's pomegranate juice. It's tomato, tomato, I don't know. But what's important about it is actually we peel them and we blend them whole. So it's freshly blended tomatoes that goes into our sangrita. And you can evidence that. If you take a closer look, there are some small tiny bits that is tomato. There's also three types of different pepper. Fresh lime juice. Fresh orange juice. Some brown sugar and some other elements that balance the flavor of our original sangrita recipe. Traditionally, sangrita is served with tequila blanco. You pour tequila and sangrita into two separate shot glasses and you sip on both one after another. The basic conception of sangrita is to complement the flavor of 100% agave tequila. So let's get down on it and do some tasting. The way I mentioned already is blanco and sangrita into two shot glasses. But as you can tell, I have three in here. So we are about to prepare a cocktail which is called bandera. Bandera in Spanish means flag. So we are going to create some kind of a Mexican flag here. For that, I'll require freshly squeezed lime juice, which I have here in a tin. Thank you, table. <laughs> Rustrojo Blanco. And finally, long awaited, we've been talking about our sangrita. First thing you have to know, you have to shake it before you pour it. And if you store it and it was open, as in my case, it has to be kept in the fridge. So.
What happens next? I'll tell you right now. We have come to the moment when we are going to try it. Follow me. Even though that they are laid out as a Mexican flag, green, white, clear in this case, red, that's not the sequence as you should take it. You start in the middle, you start with your tequila. You take a tiny sip of this, you can shoot it if you've got big guns, but I suggest to sip. Blanco. Then you chase it with lime juice. And finally, you complement it all with this perfectly balanced sangria. Wow, I must say. Wow. You should definitely try it. But if you want to keep it simple and remain with just two of those, Blanco and Sangrita, then that is the way I suggest doing it. You take a tiny sip of your Blanco and don't swallow it straight away. Give it a swirl. Do it like for two seconds, keep it in your mouth. Introduce your palate, your taste buds to the aromas and flavors of this perfect agave spirit. Follow me, friends. And now we are ready for sangrita. That's just an explosion of flavors. So, thank you very much for being with me, for being with us. Take care, folks. Take it easy. But most importantly, enjoy it responsibly. My name is Ansis. I'm the Global Ambassador for Rooster Rojo. See you around. Ciao.